I really like water. Honestly, I probably can't live without it. So let's make some water in After Effects, shall we? All right, so we got a new comp open. We're going to go to layer, new solid. We're gonna make a solid. This will be our background. All right, let's go ahead and just add a little gradient here. We can either go in our effects and presets or I got a free nice plugin called FX console, which is the same thing, just makes it easier. We're gonna add a gradient ramp here. All right, so I'm just gonna like um, make it seem like there's a sun in the background. So for my start color, boom, we'll do this blue. And for the end color, we'll do a little bit lighter of a blue. I'm copying in some colors from off screen so that this looks nice for the tutorial, for you, for your viewing pleasure. All right, cool, we got a background here. Now let's do another new solid. Boom, we'll call this water. Great, that's great. And let's go ahead and add an on a fractal noise to this, cool. All right, so let's change the type to be strings. Let's change the noise type to be spline. Let's drop down the transform. Let's uncheck uniform scaling. Let's stretch this out a bit. Maybe let's make this not so high on the height. Something like that looks nice. It's kind of watery. Let's bring the complexity down all the way to one and that will just kind of make it more blurry like that, like this. Let's make some keyframes on the evolution here. So I'll go to the end, maybe we'll uh, bring this up to one. All right, that's a nice speed to it. Now, one thing you'll notice is that when it gets to the end of my timeline here, it does not loop, it does that jump. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down the evolution options, I'm gonna click cycle evolution, and now we have a beautiful, perfect loop. Great little tip. So then I'm gonna bring the contrast up a little bit, just give this a little more contrast. All right, this looks like, now it looks uh, like we're getting some highlights on the water. And I think that's it for my fractal noise. So um, let me just fold this in. And then I'm gonna add a shift channels to this layer. And then I'm going to take the alpha from luminance, which means I'm just gonna take the uh, transparency from anything that's luminance, from anything that's light. And now you can see it's basically removing all the, all the dark. And then let's go ahead and add a levels to this. And I wanna switch this channel to be on alpha. And then I'm gonna crunch these little arrows in, crunch them in big time, crunch them in, crunch them in, crunch them in. And it's gonna make this real hard like this, real hard edges, all right, make it real hard. That's great. Cool. I got this nice uh, kind of like hard, hard water, we got hard water. Okay, great. And then I'm going to add a gradient ramp on top here. All right, cool. And now depending on whichever direction you want this gradient ramp to go, we're just going to add some, some colors to it. So maybe I'll make this kind of like start with this blue and maybe make it end with this blue. Like that and we can swap them around. I mean, I'll make it go dark to light here. All right, so we got one layer down and now we wanna make uh, a second layer of water. Actually, one more thing I'll do is I'll add a wave warp onto this, like this, and just kind of stretch it out, the width of it, real stretchy like that to give it this a wavy feeling. Maybe I'll make this wave speed like 0.2, something like that. That just adds a little more wateriness to this. Okay, cool. And now I'll go ahead and duplicate this one time. And what we're gonna do here is, let me change my gradient ramp color to just be a little lighter, something like this and like this, so I can see what I'm doing off the bat. And then what I'll do is I'll just go in here and I'll, crank up the contrast a little bit to make this thinner, a lot thinner. So it's much more like it's kind of floating on top, much more thinner foam layer. And I'll change the offset turbulence to make it feel like it's on top more. Maybe it's to the right a little bit, kind of like that. Okay, cool. And yeah, we'll just play this now. And looks like we have another layer on top of this water. That's really cool. And you know, what you could do too is like, if you want to make this kind of more, maybe it feels like it's more like a sunset, you could kind of like maybe add some pink 
to this, something like that. And maybe you want to add something like, or if you right click, go to layer styles and click stroke. This is probably off screen right now, but it's here, I promise. Um, add something like a stroke to this and make the stroke maybe a white and that could feel a little more stylized like a foam too. And yeah, that's about it. We have this cool stylized water, um, uh, cartoony stylized water in After Effects. Thanks for watching. So if you liked this tutorial, but maybe it was too much work and you want to get water without all the work, check out my vector visuals pack where we have water and all kinds of other cool visuals. You can just drag and drop into After Effects and boom, now they're in your project. You can tweak all the little buttons and widgets and you can tweak them to your project and they, they're great. They work in any project, any project file, and you can change the the attributes and and whatever you want we got all these nice controls water is one of them and it looks great and you can you can edit whatever you want use it in any project that you want personal projects commercial projects and and the, and it's great and i and and i made it with my friend devin and you're gonna love it check it out vector visuals link in the description